Chelsea and Halima have a joint mission in life. They want to be solicitors, but they've decided not to go to university. They're doing the first stage of an apprenticeship at a firm called Withers, opposite London's Old Bailey. This route best suited me because I could not only prove that I'm, I'm academically gifted, I'm also very good when I'm put to the test. Definitely opens the doors to bring in a more diverse range of people because if I walk around sort of the city in general, I don't see many people from my community. The apprentice route is one of four pathways to becoming a solicitor, and there are more than 2,000 organisations assessing people at the end of their workplace training. Now the Solicitors Regulation Authority is proposing to introduce one centralised assessment for them all, called the Solicitors Qualifying Examination, or SQE. The world changes, and if the world changes, we have to consider how we can change our system to ensure that we can continue to have a high quality legal profession. There are now a large number of universities that offer law degrees. There are new routes to entry such as apprenticeship. We don't want to discourage any of this, but it is important that we ensure that the assessment of newly qualified solicitors is the same for everybody, regardless of the university they attended and regardless of the route that they followed. The SRA says it's all about enhancing the quality of the profession. So what do consumers think about the idea? I think standards in the legal profession um, uh, can always be improved. We need good lawyers, uh, we need good solicitors. Change is always good if it's going to you know, improve the standards and in, in law or any, any profession in fact. It's great because uh, then I can go to a solicitor and I know he's, he's, he's a proper person who I'm you know, looking forward to. And, He's got proper knowledge to you know, serve me as a customer. I think the idea of having one exam is just great because like, you know that there is a certain level and everybody will have the same level. So what will the solicitor's qualifying examination consist of? There will be two parts to it. The first will be on functioning legal knowledge, which will include ethical questions and questions which test candidates' ability to use their legal knowledge to solve clients' problems. The second part will be an assessment of practical legal skills, including writing, drafting, researching, and oral skills including interviewing, advocacy and negotiation. Professor Nigel Savage, the former president of the University of Law, has welcomed the proposals. It's making it much more relevant, full-time, part-time, online, and that's the key to it. Uh, we need to see a change because legal education is a long way behind the reality of what's happening in practice at the moment. This change is long overdue. Staff at the Nottingham Law Centre specialise in advice about welfare benefits and immigration. Sephora Katoon believes a new centralised assessment for solicitors could help make the profession more diverse. I am sometimes asked by my clients how their children can get into law and I think um, for people of um, different backgrounds who may not have parents who are professionals um, or come from um, families that are not well off, it gives them a, a route into it, a, a more viable route. Proposals for the new solicitor's qualifying examination will now be put out to consultation. If it goes ahead, the first people to sit the exam will be in 2018.